Well, what are first, you looking for, basically? When first you... thing I'll do is, is sit down with a fellow. I usually have a cart out there where I'm teaching. And it's very hot in Houston, and uh, you better have some refreshment and, and be able to, uh, you can't stand up here and bounce around very long. So I'll have the person sit down, sit in the cart, and I'll try to find out a little something about their background. Uh, who, who sent you to me, or why did you come to me? Okay, and uh, how long have you played? Uh, those are the opening questions, and when you get someone who obviously has played a while, uh, what is, seems to be the trouble that uh, causes you to, well, I used to, I used to be six, and now my handicap's gone all the way up to 15. Does anything hurt? Have you had any injuries? Uh, in other words, just normal, polite, uh, not controversial questions. Yeah, you're not asking him to make any judgments. You're just asking information. You're having a chat with the person. And at that time, you're putting that person at ease. And uh, after you've gone through that, depending on what their problem is, uh, you can go anywhere from, well, hit a few here with your wedge or warm up here with your seven iron, let me watch you, and at which time you'll check his grip and his setup and those things. And I've often known that the fellow is a pretty good player, and by virtue of what he told me, I'll say, well, get on the cart. We'll go out onto the 18th hole. Let me watch you hit a couple of shot drives off that tee. And... Uh, as we have four golf courses, we're able to always find an opening. But uh, polite, non-confrontational, non-threatening questions, making the person feel comfortable. Beautiful. Thank you.